Hello, hello, and welcome to Two Minutes with an Art Eater. As always, I'm your host, Kayla Quiros. I'm super excited to introduce the multi-talented, all-around wonderful human, Alonso Melgoza. Yay! Yay! Hi, Alonso. Hi. What is your year, major, and pronouns? I am a third-year drama transfer student, and my pronouns are he, they. Tell me about your experience on the Sweetheart Deal. Yeah, it's been a great uh, great experience so far. I've loved working with Sarah, our guest director. She's great. Um, I really love the, the company we have, the cast and crew. It's just all around uh, a great environment, really great vibes. Awesome. What are some character discoveries or epiphanies that you have made? Mm-hmm. Without giving away too much about the show. I don't want to give away spoilers, but um, I would say with the character I'm playing, Mac, uh, it was really important to find uh, his humanity. Just how we don't want to paint people as the bad guy or the villain or the good guy. That we all have different aspects in us and because of our certain experiences or things that we've been through, forced to do certain, we are forced to do certain things. And so I think really just finding uh, that aspect of him, that he is still just a person who's trying to, mm-hmm. to, to live, you know? Yeah. What has surprised you about being on this show? I think what surprised me the most was how quickly we were able to put it together, I guess. Yeah. Cause it's been a very <laughs> quick, uh, rehearsal uh, period. And so I think that was just surprising how, uh, how fast we were able to work and put it up on its feet. Yeah. yeah. What do you hope audiences will glean from this piece? I really hope that audience, first of all, you know, really appreciate where their food comes from, first of all, Mm -hmm. where, you know, so much of the produce uh, from all over the country, it it comes from California and just really understand this, this movement that isn't really talked about as much that happened in in the 70s and it's still so important today i would say you know although our show takes place in the 70s so much of the material is so relevant to today and i really hope people can see that and understand that can walk away with a new perspective on things um yeah and just how important it is for all of us to to do our part um and just how important activism is um yeah my last question before speed round, is what about theater intrigues you the most? I think what intrigues me the most, uh, or what's always drawn me to theater, has always just been the people. Um, I think it's fun. I think, you know, you build friendships. (laughs) And uh, I think something about going through uh, a show with these people, you share your lives like you're with each other all the time, every day. I think it's just such an interesting experience and you get close yeah. with all these people, you just the memories that you make and then you get to share it with an audience, all your hard work. I think that was really mm-hmm. what intrigued mm-hmm. me the most and what got me addicted to yeah. theater. Yeah, yeah. On that note, I think it is time for speed round. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> favorite musician? Ooh, at the moment, favorite musician, probably Omar Apollo. If you were an animal, what animal would you be? I would be a jaguar. A jaguar? Yes, okay. Fun. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite fruit? Favorite strawberries. Peanut butter or jelly? Peanut butter. What sound does an anteater make? Zod, zod, zod. Zod, zod, zod. <laughs> Yay. That was amazing. Thank you for having me. Of course. Thank you for joining me today. As always, I'm Kayla Quiros. Thanks for listening. Stay safe and zod, zod, zod. Mm-hmm.